Counsel for Ofsted at the Ruth Perry inquest has been told off for trying to bring in evidence about the behaviour of pupils that led to her school being branded inadequate. Well, Joe Campbell has been in court for us this morning and joins us live this lunchtime. Joe, tell us what happened. Well, Heidi Connor, the coroner for Berkshire here, jumped in straight away when Bilal Raat, who is the counsel for Ofsted, mentioned something that the inspectors had seen at the school. She said that he had crossed a line in her words and she'd made plain that she didn't want any of the behaviour actually talked about in court. She said that in actual fact that was something that she'd set as a very much a cast iron rule. He said the concern was that effectively he could talk about the behaviour without actually identifying the pupil. Heidi Connor said to him, if you've had some of the still things that I've seen on social media and also some of the messages I've had from parents and other people, sometimes in the middle of the night, you'd know why I was taking this particular procedure and not allowing you to get away with things like this. So, Joe, what evidence have we heard today? Well, we've continued to hear from the man who actually led the inspection team that went into Caversham Primary um, 12 months ago, this very month. And um, Alan Derry has been asked about the actual fact that he was, had he actually made any attempt to kind of stay or to pause the inspection when he saw that Ruth Perry had been reduced to tears at one stage, literally looking as though she had been physically injured. Such was the distress she was in as a result of what was happening. He said that was very much down to the regional directors of Ofsted to make that decision based on the evidence he was putting into their computer system all the time. He was asked at that stage how could they make such a decision when in actual fact the details we were putting in on occasions was really quite scant. The inquest is continuing this afternoon. Joe, thank you.